heard you found the roach freak. Yeah, but he didn't know anything. And even if he did, he didn't give me the option to ask. So what are we even doing here? Remember when you told me you found that egghead from the society and the things he was doing? Well, you won't believe what I found. Let's go. What's he have to do with Shadow Bridge? It's no bobblehead, but it's got society written all over it. Today, we're discussing a secret war taking place in the Capital Wasteland, a conflict that probably most fans of Fallout 3 have overlooked. Welcome back to another Bite Size Lore video where I eventually hope to be a one-stop encyclopedia of all things Fallout. If you enjoy Fallout, then subscribe, because I'm putting out a Fallout vid every other day of the week. Also, if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out a lot. Located north of Broadcast Tower KT-8 and southwest of the abandoned car fort, you'll find the location of Shale Bridge. Shale Bridge consists of the Shale Bridge Tunnels and the Shale Bridge Hill. The tunnels are marked by green mushrooms, while the Shale Bridge Hill is surrounded by a golden fungus. Most of you have probably never really run across this location, and if you have, then you know what two factions are at war in this territory and for this location. On the Shale Bridge Hill lies a large ant colony full of mutated and massive ants. Similarly to the Grey Ditch ants, these ants are large and extremely aggressive. It turns out that Dr. Lesko's goal may be partially coming true and the ants are either descendants of his wild experiments or are naturally occurring mutated creatures. Surrounded by a peculiar golden fungus, the hill is primarily home to an ant colony inhabited by ant workers, soldiers, and a formidable giant ant queen. Exploring the area reveals several points of interest. Upon entering the caves, a tunnel on the right leads to a pile of bones containing metal armor, providing a valuable find for scavengers. In the Queen's Lair, located somewhere within the hill, a lamp illuminates a corner where a couple of skeletons lie along with various weapons and ammunition, possibly left behind by previous adventurers or unfortunate victims of these ants. These tunnels are massive, by the way, so prepare to get lost. It's reminiscent of an actual ant colony, with small crevices to fit into and massive caverns that open up. It's actually quite an amazing location that many people won't run into. Towards the northeast corner of the caves, a raider skeleton can be found, equipped with an arc welder helmet, frag grenades, a stim pack, and a sledgehammer. This discovery highlights the dangers of the area, suggesting that even well-armed individuals have fallen prey to the ant colony's defenses. And that's mostly it for the hill colony, but these ants aren't the interesting bit about this location. Because across from Shale Bridge Hill and inside the Shale Bridge Tunnels, you'll find another ant colony, one that is currently at war with the Hill Tribe. But the funny thing about these ants is, they aren't hostile. At least not towards the Lone Wanderer. The Shale Bridge Tunnels are a small cave system in the Capital Wasteland, characterized by its friendly giant ant colony. The entrance, located north of the broken relay station near the hill, is marked by circular webbing surrounded by glowing mushrooms. Upon entering, the Lone Wanderer finds the smaller, friendlier ants under attack by larger, aggressive hill tribe ants. These larger ants will attack the Lone Wanderer and must be defeated to protect the colony. However, if the queen in the Shellbridge Hill colony has already been killed, the larger ants will not be present in the tunnels. Exploring the tunnels reveals several points of interest. Nearby, there is an ant egg cluster where the player character can choose to inject a stim pack. This requires 70 science or 40 medicine, which lets you know that you're helping the growth of the colony. There's no consequences to this action, but it adds a nice roleplay aspect for the character and boosts some morality points. Additionally, there is an ant compost heap containing ant nectar, which replenishes faster after killing the giant ant queen in Shalebridge Hill. So you can continually keep coming back to the friendly ants and collecting more nectar whenever you feel like it. The compost pile is located towards the back of the cave to the right, surrounded by glowing green mushrooms. Now, if you decide to help the friendly ants out and kill one of the larger invader ants, you will receive a message that says, it appears that these ants are from another ant colony. Perhaps attacking this rival colony would help the forager ants survive. We now get a name for these ant variants and an unmarked quest. 
Despite their mutated nature and the dangers they face, these forager ants are significantly smaller than other threats in the wastelands, such as rad roaches, adding to their unique characteristics found within Fallout 3. Their larger and invading cousins look no different from the Great Itch variety, but they're called invader ants, which does suggest that they are also a different variant. As for the unmarked quest, well, you get the picture. You can march up to Shalebridge Hill and start laying down some massive pesticide justice, killing the queen and eradicating the aggressive hunter colony that we know has attacked other humans and forager ants alike. Also, when you're killing the queen, prepare your ears for the most horrendous screech you'll ever hear in your life. This does seem like an excellent choice to make, considering that maybe the future of large mutated ants aren't the ones that want to murder and kill everyone. They would just be slightly larger ants that want to forage and live out their own peaceful existence. Just another day in the capital wasteland, full of the weirdest and wildest experiences that you may have missed in your thousands of hours. I know that I did. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate anyone that makes it this far in the videos, and I just want to thank you guys. I've been getting a lot of interactions with the community on these videos, and it's been awesome to see. So please like, sub, and comment, and follow me on Twitter. There's a link below. We can talk about all things Fallout, and I'm always open for discussion. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next.